What's up everyone, welcome back to Foot Down Racing and if you're new to the channel, welcome aboard, it's good to have you with us. Okay, uh, this is the current settings I'm using for my CSL DD on Dirt Rally 2.0. This is the Fanatic tuning menu itself for the wheelbase on the PC, not the menu inside Dirt Rally. So, uh, pause the screen here, check it out. Might, it might suit some people to have similar taste to me. I find the uh, feedback is pretty good and it's nice and light too. So check out those settings if, if you're looking for uh, decent enough light settings with um, good feedback. So uh, we'll move on to Dirt Rally 2.0 and I'll show you the settings I'm using on the wheel in game. Okay, so here we are in Dirt Rally 2.0 menu. Uh, we will head over to Options and Extras. We will go over to Input, down to Fanatic Wheel, uh, over to Advanced Settings. Um, you can check out this as, I oh, just left all this stock, I think, just whatever settings they are. You can pause the screen there and check them out if you want. Um, oh, hang on. I turned off soft lock because I wanted to stuck to 540 um, degrees of rotation. I don't want it to change uh, for each car. Uh, 540 suits me down to the ground, so I leave it at that. Um, this is the vibration and feedback I have in game. Uh, it's a nice light uh, feedback. It's it's nothing to you're not fighting the wheel too much, but you're getting good information. So. I'll just go down through them and you can pause the screen uh, and change them for yourself and check them out. Um, that's the settings I'm using and they seem pretty good. Slightly tweaked from uh, previous but uh, yeah you can check them out and uh, we will without further ado I suppose get ready with this episode. Alright uh, I am thinking for this episode I reckon how about we head to the USA New England why not? And this is the stage that I think we're going to go at. I've never done it. Well, I probably have done it before, but I, I don't really know it at all. Uh, it is the Tolt Valley Sprint Reverse. And we're going to do a daytime cloudy wet surface. We haven't done a wet surface in a while, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to check it out. There's medium gravel here and heavy gravel, so it should be fairly good. Don't even know what car we're using, but we'll check it out now in a second. Right, so it looks like the next two cars up for scrutiny are the Subaru Impreza 2001 versus the Ford Focus RS Rally 2007. I think the two of these cars are, are pretty savage if I remember correctly, but we will check them out. First of all, check out the old Scooby here. Love Subaru Imprezas. Who doesn't? I don't think there's anyone in the history of... Uh, car lovers that don't love Subaru and Pretzels. Maybe I'm wrong, leave a comment in the section below. This is a six speed manual sequential, so we'll be popping it into sequential mode for this. And let's check out what the, oh, the, the Ford is as well. So two sequential cars up against each other. Let's see what who comes out victorious. I will see you in the passenger seat of the Scooby. Okay, welcome aboard the beautiful Subaru and Pretzel. And we are here in USA, checking out this lovely stage. I'm not entirely sure of this stage, so we're going to be relying on our little passenger there in the back seat, Mr. Coldrailer. You may want to keep that seat belt buckled though. Safety first and all that, all that jazz. Who doesn't love the old Subaru and Prentice? Come on. It's a little beauty. Come on, over these bumps. Tightest tree. Okay, okay, sorry. Apologies for the terrible driving, I don't know where I'm going. Oh 
Do as he says. Do as he says. the time of the Subaru. Let's pop straight into the Ford and see how we go. Five, okay, welcome four, aboard the Ford three, Focus. Two, I forgot what a beast this six, thing is. Eight, Just four, the noise of it. Just revving it up at the start line there. We can even tell it. It's a beast. Probably one of the best sounding cars in the game in my opinion. Let me know what you think. Uh, yourselves in the comments section below whether you agree or disagree. We can really throw this thing around as well. I actually... I think the handle might be slightly better on this than it is on the... the, uh, the old Scooby. Hate saying it for the poor old bees, but... I think it may be true. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna say the handle is better on this. She just drives herself around. Might have might as well be a Tesla actually. A sweet sound is Tesla. Alright, tightness. Oh, that's understeer. That is understeer. Look at that. Glides round. From one slide to the next. I think the old Scooby could have an old uh, bit of a fight on its hands here with this baby. We took that terribly in the old Scooby, God love it. The Subaru was a little bit at a disadvantage because it was a uh, it was the guinea pig for the stage. Now I know, know it's somewhat. That one. Just use the signs to just give that car a little bit of a tap at the back. That's what it's all about. Using your environment to your advantage. Oh god. 
Lost a bit of time, I was kind of happy about that. Because I'm always doing terrible in the old Subaru. I want to give them a fighting chance. That's us, over the finish line. Oh, I think we beat it. I think we beat the Scooby, even with all them crashes. Yeah, we did. Oh, sorry. Again, Subaru and Pretzel fans, and I'm one of them. So, apologies to us all. Um, the Focus has more power. It's uh, it's easier to control, better handling. So, I think I'm gonna have. It's gonna be a clear winner here between the two of them. That's just my terrible driving for me. Anyway, I think that's the winner. Um, both awesome cars. Uh, great fun to drive. You can really hammer them around the bends and they, they just go where you want them to. Um, yeah, so anyway, I suppose that is the video. If you liked it, remember to smash that like button. Much appreciated. And uh, if you're not already subscribed, maybe think about subscribing. Um, hitting the bell notification so you don't miss any videos. And uh, yeah, I shall see you in the next one.